so on, so on. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, the bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, a great millstone, rule well, and tell us his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, as priests of the word, and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful, like a sparkle bird on Wednesday, Shalom. I just want to do this quick lesson, <laughs> do a quick uh, commentary on this, man. This is this dude right here. Russell Westbrook <laughs> is through, man. Hey, he's through. He's through. He's uh, hey, he's abomination until you how about Shimon Sha, a grown ass man, which pretty much you, you know in this world you're considered a mighty man, should not be wearing a damn dress. You already got the money, you already got the fame, but you out here wearing a dress. And that's why you didn't play good <laughs> this season, man. You know, this dude used to be one of my favorite basketball players to watch, even though he, had, he didn't have a jump shot like that. But, you know, hey, hey, you know he, he was pretty fun to watch. But that's also why you don't give your uh, put your stock into these people out here. You know, they don't have this truth. If they don't have this truth, man, stop, stop looking up to these dudes, man. All right, let me get this right here. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto you. How will thy power? You're abomination unto you. How about you, Mel Shah? Wearing a damn dress, man. Come on, fam. What you doing, man? The Lord is not going to save you Negroes out there. Y'all already got the money and fame and y'all still selling out. When you play basketball, <laughs> come on, man. Thought you was from the hood. <laughs> this ain't the only time that he done it, man. So it just goes to show you these, these people out here are through, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this right here. Second Chronicles 15 and 13. That whosoever will not seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashemiel Shah, power of Israel, shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Why? Because the Lord is not a respecter of persons. And this truth is out there. You Jakes have no excuse that you have not heard about this truth. And you still out there wearing a damn dress. Hey, so you you going to be taken out, man. You know, hey, the Lord may reserve you to take the MLTB. And hey, you going to eat that nuclear missile. Let's get this right here. Isaiah 3 and verse 9. They show their countenance. The show of their countenance does witness against them. They declare the sin at Sodom. They hide at night. Woe unto their soul. For they they have their reward. Slag it for their. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. You see. And in this kingdom Babylon the great. They don't, they don't hide who they are anymore. You know. It's out there in the open for everybody to see. Everybody to know. Hey you, you a weak effeminate man. And you already couldn't take criticism. So that goes to show you, you couldn't stand in this lot. Because people going to laugh at you. People going to scoff at you. People going to come on your comic board. <laughs> if you can't take being called Wessel Westbrook Brick. <laughs> what you think? Hey, hey, you couldn't be here, man. Doing what we do. All right? And it shows because you're weak and effeminate. Though you may be a mighty man, you you weak and effeminate. Come on, man. And the Lord's not going to give you that power. The Lord's going to take you out. Let's get this right here. This is Isaiah 1 and 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. As you see, when Babylon the Great pushes upon our people, to be weak and effeminate men and for the women to be like men this place is out of order and what the Lord do unto Sodom and Gomorrah he, hey, he took it out so the Lord gonna do the same to this place hey, he, hey he's gonna send them ICBM missiles to this place man a lot of you Jake says out of order y'all gonna be taken out Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of, of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose 
is a multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord. I am full of burnt offerings of rams and the fats of fed beasts. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or the lambs or of he or of he goats. Right? Because Jake back then thought he could get away, you know, if if he had that money. He can just get a ram, a sacrifice, sacrifices unto the Lord, and he can keep on sinning. That's why the Lord had his son to die for us, man. And he's not going to do it again. All right. So the Lord's only looking for that remnant. All right. Obeying the Lord is better than sacrifice. Lord, rather for you to obey. Take heed to the Lord. But Jake, Jake don't want to listen, man. Jake won't take shortcuts. Jake want to lay down with the devil. All right. Hey, y'all, y'all through, man. Y'all through. I can say that it's, it's, I might I might get one more scripture I might um, let me get right get this right here because I was about to close out but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get this scripture right here because you, you're not going to get any protection man Jake's like this ain't going to get pr protection man <laughs> no matter your status in this kingdom man it's a Psalms 125 and verse 1 they that trust in the Lord Yahweh Shemel shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. Hey, when Jacob's trouble pop off, you're going to be screaming, man. You really going to be like a little girl out here. You wearing a dress like one, you're going to be like a girl out here. But the men of the Lord, hey, they're going to stand 10 toes deep. They're going to get their power, man. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. From henceforth, even forever. Are right, you trusting the Lord? The Lord is with you. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. At least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. So it goes to show you, hey, take heed to the Lord. Do this work in truth and sincerity. And the Lord got your back. But hey, you, hey, you go back into this world. Or you be like Russell Rest Brick. <laughs> and, and these other jakes out here. Hey, the Lord's not going to protect you. All right. Do good, O Yahweh, unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts. You see, because the Lord's going to be good to, the, to his remnant. As for such as turn aside unto the crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. All right. And the Lord is gonna take care of his elect. Peace is gonna hey you going hey when Jacob's trouble pop off, you're gonna see a lot of these celebrities, a lot of these mighty men out here bugging out. And they're not gonna have peace, they're not gonna have power. They're gonna be taken out. <laughs> and you just saw Jay, Dave Chappelle get tackled the other day. All right, hey, matter of fact, that dude, hey, 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 hey he got beat up. <laughs> Hey, that's what's going to happen to a lot of you Jakes out here in the, in the days to come. A lot of y'all going to get stomped on, man. No matter your status. But if you are the elect, you're doing what the Lord telling you to do. The Lord going to have peace upon you. All right? But you got your uh, cricket ways, man. Hey, you you through, man. You through. So I'm in it right there. Lord, one is edifying. want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahwe